Uh, last night, we had a crisis meeting with the IBC in which the matter of Form 34A was raised. Uh, I'd like to be able to confirm that uh, the IBC has made it possible for our technical team to be able to access Form 34A. I don't have all the details that our technical team has, but the, whatever they get from the IBC, they are going through them very meticulously to compare with the Form 34A images that has been sent to us by our agents uh, from the field. Um, obviously, the results which are being streamed that you may be able to see on your television screens uh, will only be uh, confirmed by the IBC themselves when they make the final announcements. However, they are a fairly good reflection of what is happening because the primary document is the 34, 34, Form 34A and the announcements which are made at the polling stations. And uh, once they're made at the polling stations, the, that information is relayed to the constituency telling centers and in Nairobi the same information is relayed at the same time and from what we know the presiding officers are actually supposed to make the announcements and pin at the entrance of each polling station or polling or, or polling line they are supposed to pin the results that they have announced, so that this is in the public domain. Um, we have performed extremely well in some of the areas that uh, this president did not perform so well. So the results you're seeing are a factor of the reality that, say, when you look at a place like Kisi, where his results were at about four, 18% in Kisi and 28% in Yamira. This time round, we are seeing a performance of over 50% in Yamira and over 40% in Kisi area. That kind of result is reflected from Mandera to Nyamira, from Wajir to Kwale. And uh, we are very delighted that many Kenyans have moved to the side of President Uhuru Kenyatta. I'm able to challenge any media house or even NASA themselves to be able to show any county which they were able to take away from this president. Um, we like to appeal for calm. Um, it has been a very tough campaign. Both sides invested emotionally and physically and materially to their respective campaigns. Of course, only one campaign would emerge victorious. We like to appeal to NASA that they don't engage in a campaign of disinformation, uh, a campaign of uh, calling results fraudulent, because the only thing which can be fraudulent is when any of the campaigns decides to manipulate the Form 34A. And of course, if you try to manipulate that digitally, it will be very easy to detect. All the Form 34As, what we have, what NASA has, what IBC has, what is coming out of the polling stations and the constituency uh, centers must be the same. And if there is uh, any conflict that NASA has their own set of 34 A's and Jubilee has their own set of, 34, of Form 34 A. Um, that will be the recipe for chaos. So we want to re, uh, appeal to our very able op opponents that they should exercise restraint and uh, not subject us to any unnecessary drama. Uh, we're being very gracious to NASA we look forward to the end of this process so that we can embrace 
all Kenyans, including NASA, who are, at the end of the day, our brothers and sisters. In this process, it is Kenya which has to win. Thank you. That's all I have to say at this particular moment in time. But I'll take some questions. No questions? Yes. Uh, nigesema ku, nigependa kusema kwa ufupi kwamba uh, kwa kwati huu zile results ambazo tunaona katika runinga zetu zina tokea moja kwa moja kutoka kwa polling station na constituencies tallying centers. Uh, kwa wakati huu tume ridhika kwamba results ambazo tumeona hasa kutoka kwa eneo, fla, ene, eneo kama Nyamira na Kisi uh, eneo, katika eneo kama hiyo at mwaka wa 2013 uh, president Uhuru hakuwa amepata kura nyingi vile amepata kwa wakati huu ukienda katika eneo ya Wajir eneo ya Narok eneo ya Kwale kwa jumla kampeni yetu tumeridhika na results ambazo tumepata katika eneo hizo na tungependa kusema kwamba um, chama cha NASA hakuna hata moja ya eneo ambao president alikuwa amewashinda katika mwaka wa 2013 ambao tunaweza kwa tunaweza kusema kwamba wamewahi kupata kura zaidi kuliko vile walikuwa wamepata katika mwaka wa 2013 kwa hivyo tunaendelea kuridhika na results ambazo tunazipata lakini natungependa kusema chochote uh, kwamba tumeshinda mpaka ushindi yenyewe itatangazwa na IBC lazima tutii sheria na tutaendelea kutii tutaendelea kutii sheria uh, kuna mambo fulani ambayo yalikuwa yametokea hapo jana usiku kuhusu form 34A na hiyo form 34A wananasa wenyewe ndio walikuwa wa kwanza kwenda katika uh, vyombo vya habari na walikuwa wameenda mahakama na walikuwa wanataka matangazo yawe yanatangazwa kwa haraka in fact uh, last friday walikuwa wamesema tangazo zingetokea within seven hours lakini kwa wakati huu tumeshangazwa kwamba wangependa tangazo ziwe delayed kidogo uh, wanalalamika kwamba um, IBC wanatangaza kwa haraka sana results zile zimetokea uh, lakini tunaelewa um, kwamba wakati wa ushindi lazima watu wana emotions uh, tofauti tofauti tungependa kwa sihi kwamba wasianze uh, siasa ya udanganyifu siasa ya kusema maneno ambayo si ya kweli kwa vile tungependa utulivu katika nchi yetu yes any questions thank you center ya communication tuli amua kuileta KICC kwa vile hapo ni karibu kidogo ukilinganisha na ofisi yetu ambazo ziko kule upande wa um, pangani siji kama unaona ni ubaya sisi kuja karibu na nyinyi I'll reply now in English because I replied in Swahili. Uh, we have established the press center from the last two days. Uh, that is what we did during our nomination process. We did it. We had a press briefing center at Jubilee House in Pangani. Of course, it was inconvenient. Uh, we had issues of parking. We didn't have enough parking space for the media. We didn't have enough space um, for people to put their cameras. It was a very squeezed room. So we decided to bring it to KICC, and uh, I hope you love the space. Yes, uh, another question? Yes. Uh, I'm not aware. No. Thank you very much. If there are no questions, once again, we appeal to Kenyans to be calm. 
Uh, once again, we want people to look at the figures soberly. Uh, these results are not coming from out of the blue. They are backed by facts. And you cannot claim that results are fake with respect to presidential. And you welcome the areas where your governors and your members of parliament have won convincingly. You have to accept the results, however they come. Thank you very much.